Hi, this is Roy with MathEmergency.com, and this video is an introduction to the TI-89 graphing calculator. Well, congratulations on your purchase of a TI-89 uh, graphing calculator. Whether this is your first graphing calculator or you're upgrading from the TI 83, 84 models, or even from another uh, brand altogether, I think you'll find that the TI 89 is going to be an invaluable tool in your backpack for all of your studies. It is definitely useful for all of your math classes uh, through calculus and beyond calculus. It's also valuable for your physics and engineering classes, but even for other science classes as well. Um, I understand that the uh, learning curve for this calculator can be a little steep, so this video is just going to be a quick introduction to some of the different features um, of the TI-89 and maybe even a few tips on uh, getting up to speed quickly with how to use it. So when you first turn it on, this is the app screen here, and this is where all of the programs that you have either come with your calculator or you've downloaded a peer. So uh, I'm just going to quickly run through some of these and give you a feel for some of them. Um, you don't have to access all of these through the app screen, but uh, this is definitely where you can access them. So the first one here is the clock. So if you're interested in changing the date and time on your calculator, you can certainly press enter there and go ahead scan through the options and enter all the values that you want and you'll be fine and you see the clock appears in the corner here on all of your screens except the graph and some other program screens as well uh, next we have the data or matrix editor um, this is where you'll want to go when you want to work with matrices uh, we will post a video in the future about about matrices but uh, to get you started on matrices, let me just show you that if you press enter here and if you want to create a new one, you go down to new, enter. Now here's where most of the confusion lies, where it says type data, you actually want to press the right arrow key and select matrix from this menu. This will set it up as a matrix, your calculator will store it as a matrix, you can use it as a matrix and do all the things that um, you have learned to do with matrices. Um, secondly, when you're when you're creating a new anything with this calculator, uh, you have this variable field. I, I'm not sure why they call variable. Well, really, what this is is just the name. You got to name the matrix um, or the function or whatever it is, you know, whatever program or whatever it is you're trying to save. You got to name it, but they call it variable, just so you know. Um, so you give it a name, give it a row and column dimension, you press enter and you'll have a matrix stored on your computer underneath that name. So for instance, if I give it the name X, Y, Z, H, and if you press enter, then it will create the matrix for you, uh, no problem. So back on the apps screen, uh, the next option you have here is graph, and this will show any graph or excuse me, graph any function that you've put into the y equals editor, which we'll get to here in a minute. Uh, program editor, uh, this is just introduction, so don't worry about that. Numeric solver, um, same thing. This will just solve equations for you um, in a particular manner. This is the home. This is for the home screen of the calculator, and in fact, this is where you will probably spend most of your time. This is where you go to calculate things where and um, find values of things you can do a lot of things from the uh, home screen you'll notice that there is the f2 algebra menu where you can do a lot of things per, uh, that you've learned in your algebra studies solving factoring expanding and so on there's also the calculus or calc menu where you can diff you can you have options to differentiate integrate find limits sums uh, mins and maxes you know, all sorts of things um, there are other menu options here that I encourage you to just play around with and, and look at, get a feel for, um, and just, you know, see if you can figure out what they do. That's going to be one of the best things for you. Um, if we go back to the app screen, 
oh, one more thing about the home screen. That you use the home screen so much that to get to it, they've given the home screen its own key on the keypad here called home. And by pressing it, you go straight to the, the uh, home screen, which is, I think, nice. Here's the table, which this is also something you'll find yourself using. It will, um, when you have an equation in the y equals editor, it will give you values of that equation at these particular values of x or values of x that you input. Uh, text editor for notes and things. Uh, window editor, this is how you will adjust uh, what you view in graphs, the lowest and highest x values and the lowest and highest y values on your graphs. Uh, and this is the y equals editor where you're going to put in um, functions that you want to graph or manipulate in some way. And so when we can put in x squared here. Oh, and when you want to raise something to a power, this is the key you use, the caret key it's called. So x squared, press enter, and it enters x squared into our y equals. Now if we want to view this graph, we can go to the apps, scroll up, and find the graph like we did, or the graph uh, menu like we did before. But if you notice above the F3 key, there's this yellow writing that says graph. And anything in this yellow, yellowish green color you can access by pressing the diamond key and then pressing that button. So diamond F3 brings us to the graph program. And it's going to graph this function y equals x squared. Not bad. If you wanted to change your window of, so that you change what you're looking at graphing, you can do that in the window by, you'll notice above F2 window. So diamond key F2 for window. And in this case, I want to look at positive values of x. So let's just do 0 to 10. Well, I'll do 0 to 5. No big deal. And then I'm going to, same thing to go back to graph. I'm going to do diamond key F3. Now I get this zoomed in view of our graph. Um, also, let's say I wanted to find particular values of our function. Uh, at given x values, I can do that at the table, and so you'll see above f5 we have written in yellow table. So diamond key f5 brings me to the table, and you'll see when we put in x, when we put in the, a certain value for x, it will tell us what value we get out of the function y. So 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 4 squared is 16, and you can scroll down and so on. And in fact, you can even scroll up past 0 and get those values as well. Um, on the whole keyboard, you'll find that there are, above the buttons, uh, different commands in blue and this yellow. To access the blue commands, you'll hit the set the second key. To access, access the yellow commands, like we've been doing, you'll hit this diamond key again. Also, if you want to write letters, you want to put letters in, you'll hit alpha right here and you notice second alpha it says a lock that's going to lock it onto um, the alpha parts so that down here you'll notice it has all the letters when you press if you're on alpha lock and you press 7 it will hit G and it'll stay on alpha to continue on this up arrow is your shift key so if you want to make capital letters things like that that's how you'll do it the escape key is how you get out of most things so if you hit escape while you're uh, doing certain things, a lot of times you'll come out and go to the home screen or go to the main screen of that particular program. Um, mode is where you're going to access a lot of the options that you have for uh, your calculator, how you want it to graph, um, how you want it to handle digits, and um, whether, you're not, whether or not you want exact or approximate values when you calculate things, and so on. Um, so I think that's a pretty quick introduction. Uh, we have other videos about the TI-89 if you want to watch and learn more. The best tip I can give you is just to spend some time playing around with it. Get used to where some of the keys are, um, especially sine, cosine, and tangent, pi, e. Um, you'll see they're all in this row here. If you, the more you use it, the more you're going to get familiar with it. So just play around and get used to it, and that way um, you'll pick it up a lot faster. 
Um, if you have any more ideas for videos, please feel free to email us at videos at mathemergency.com. Um, otherwise, uh, leave a comment and rate as you please. Thank you.